Hi all, I have another very interesting game of Magnus Carlsen. This is from the Chesscom Speed Chess Championship of 2017. And his opponent here was Gadir Gusanov. Let's have a look at this game. So e4, and Magnus plays the modern defence, g6. And it can transpose sometimes into a Piat's defence. Here, we see often knight c3, c6. This is now transposing into the Piat's uh, defence. So we have bishop e2, knight f6. Both sides castle, bishop e3, knight bd7, knight d2, b6. So setting the scene for provocation, maybe asking white to play e5 at some point. We have f4, so kind of uh, delayed Austrian kind of attack with e5 now on the cards. Bishop b7, and now e5 is played. Bengus actually plays knight e8. On knight d5, you might think is an option, but after knight takes d5, c takes, this is actually rather comfortable for white. Uh, for example, this scenario, there's good opportunities for white on the attack. And the queen can sometimes come in and support the bishop, maybe bishop g5 later. This is a very nice attacking position with an advantage for white. So it seems yeah, this is actually more in line with trying to undermine the white pawn center. Bishop f3, knight c7, knight d e4, putting pressure on d6. And now a real amazing undermining move from a practical perspective might not be the best uh, position technically, but a real fighting position. C5. We have e takes d6. Here you might think, well, the bishop is a loose piece. What about this tactic, knight f6? This wasn't played, but uh, this position uh, is interesting. After d5, for example, here there are opportunities for black to at least be equal here. So after c5, we have e takes d6. E takes d6, knight takes d6, and this falls in for queen e7, so double attacking e3 and d6, leaving the bishop hanging to two pieces, but this is a key tactical move. Knight takes b7, uh, on bishop takes b7, then queen takes e3 check. This position should actually be okay uh, for, for white with a small edge as, as well. So knight takes b7 though was played, queen takes, check, c takes d4 and now taking off this pawn and black's now in the driving seat so yes i think he's taken on b7 the wrong way this is actually quite nice for black this position now knight uh, e to d6 joining the other knight but they're kind of trapped they're kind of frozen here we have knight e5 bishop d5 which does weaken that g4 square and then we have queen h4 with a crude idea but effective of knight g4 hitting h2 and, and preparing knight f2 check we have g3 evicting the queen. So if, for example, bishop b3, then yes, knight g4 is pretty dangerous. And this just picking up the exchange, for example. So g3 does create some weaknesses. The queen drops back. And these knights are not going anywhere. The, the problem is white's pieces are a bit loose. Bishop b3. We have knight e6, queen e2, rook a b8. So preparing to take off this knight. Queen e4, protecting the knight. For a moment, h5. We have rook a e1, king h7, h3, and now knight g5 hitting that queen. And the queen actually goes to d5, but now knight takes h3, king g2, and now knight g5. So white's really not going anywhere. f7 is really strongly reinforced here. We have queen takes d4 being played. On rook h1, you might think to mark, you know, the h3 square just in case. Uh, yeah, the the knights are really not going anywhere. This is just just winning material. So it's actually a rather bad position for white here. Queen takes d4, and after rook takes b7, white's had enough here. White resigns. So Magnus played very pro provocatively here. Uh, for modern defence or, or perk defence uh, or peers, as you might call it, uh, players, um, this example of provocation shows maybe the importance of knight e8 compared to knight d5. It keeps more of the tension going. The c5 break really collapsed the white centre tactically. It was off, was just a blitz game, though, not to be taken too seriously. But it shows the undermining potential is is quite a dangerous, you know, practical idea, and it is like the spirit of the hypermoderns to try and undermine the centre after letting the opponent occupy the centre. So. A, a very interesting example uh, by uh, Magnus Carlsen, the current world chess champion. If you want to check out uh, core lines in the modern defence, check out that free short and sweet modern defence course. Uh, 
at kingscrusher tv slash modern a lot of very interesting lines to study okay thanks very much